Hi, this is Chris Gould with Geeks on Tour and Learn Google Photos. Do you have thousands of photos on your computer? I think you need to put them up into Google Photos and I'm going to show you how. Here is a Google Photos account that just has a few pictures in it from 2020, but there are thousands of pictures on this computer's hard drive. In order to get them, you need a piece of software called Backup and Sync. You can get it from right in your Google account by clicking this Upload and then Download Backup and Sync. Notice that where it takes you is photos.google.com slash apps and you click download. In a minute you can click on the little arrow if you're using the Chrome browser you can click on the little arrow and open. You have to approve some pop-up messages and now it's installing. Installation complete. So that was step one. Download and install Google Backup and Sync. Once it's installed, you will see this little cloud with the up arrow in your SysTray at the bottom right of a Windows computer. It will be at the top right of a Mac. Click on that and click Get Started. Step one is to sign in with the account you're, you're using. Step two is to set it up. This screen is asking you, do you want to just back up photos and videos or all file types? Realize that Backup and Sync is actually a Google Drive utility and it can back up your whole computer, but that's not what I want. I just want photos and videos then it wants you to choose your folder. Now most people will just select their pictures folder but in this computer I don't have many pictures on my C drive in the pictures folder. They are all on an external hard drive so I'm going to uncheck all of these. My photos are not in these places so I have to choose a folder and my photos are on an external hard drive my Seagate backup and pictures. So I just want you to see that this I have put pictures for my whole life <laughs> on this folder. I select that folder. Next quest and it is looking at that. Next question is what upload size do you want? High quality or original quality? High quality takes up less space. So I think that is the right thing to do. And if you're doing this before June 1, 2021, they will be they will not count towards your Google storage. So I say choose high quality and then click start you get a pop-up message that Backup and Sync is setting up. When you see the arrows spinning on that cloud, it means that upload is happening. After a while, when you click on that cloud with the spinning arrows, you will actually see the photos that are being uploaded and we'll see that the upload is still continuing and the count is still going up. If we take a look at the folder that is being uploaded, this pictures folder from the Seagate drive, and I, I right click and choose properties, we get this picture that says there are 174,458 files for a total of 411 gigabytes. That is what Google Backup and Sync is uploading to Google Photos right now. This is going to take several days. 
and it can go on in the background. You don't have to stop it, but it will slow your computer down. So you may want to pause it during the day. You do that by clicking on the icon for backup and sync, then the three dots in the upper right, and then you'll see a menu that includes pause. So let's go take a look at Alice's account and see what has happened. Here is her Google Photos. You see that we're logged in as Alice and you recognize just these first few pictures that were there. But now there are many, many more. I can even scroll back to like 2010 and see pictures from those dates. Now there is no count, there's no way of knowing how many pictures are here, but we know from looking at the backups in sync that it's well on its way to copying 170,000 pictures up here. Notice there are no albums, there are no folders. It copies all of the photos up to your Google account in date order in one giant stream. But they are not counting against your storage. Why? Because we chose high quality. Let me show you. My Google One storage for Alice's account is showing that even though we now have thousands of pictures in her account, Google Photos is taking up zero gigabytes. What about Google Drive? Remember, back up and sync of necessity backs up to Google Drive as well. I click on Google Drive for Alice and it's over here under computers so it's a backup of this computer and it's this one my laptop one and here is that pictures folder and this is how many of the subfolders it has gotten through so far but I want you to know that these are not taking up any space in your storage either if I open a folder with pictures in it select a picture and make sure that details are showing and you'll see that even though it's 140 kilobytes storage used is zero bytes and that is the same with all pictures that have been uploaded here this Google Drive folder is just a backup of your computer. It has no relationship to Google Photos. They are completely independent. You could delete everything from Google Drive. The pictures would still be in Google Photos. So in summary, if you want to back up all the photos on your computer, your job is to download and install Backup and Sync tell it where your photos are and specify high quality. Google Backup and Sync then takes over and uploads all those photos to your Google account in the cloud.